the uh, sex linked. If it is not saying that sex linked, please don't use X and Y. So we're going to look at these questions. We have uh, different kinds of questions we're going to look at so that at least you don't suffer with this. Uh, Kunda is saying that uh, I received a distinction. Thank you very much for receiving a distinction. And I know that at the end of the year, you will receive distinctions. Uh, I always say that distinction times two. All right. The first question is saying that these are national examination uh, questions, like uh, obtained from the past papers. Uh, please, always and always uh, use these past papers so that they can guide you. All right. The first question is saying that uh, Moya Moya is a disorder caused by a dominant allele. Moya Moya is a disorder caused by a dominant allele, capital R. You see, the question is saying, is stating it that it is caused by a dominant allele. This disorder or this disorder damages the arteries supplying the blood uh, to the brain. Okay? So that is the what is important here in this statement. We don't want to know supplying the blood. We don't want to know the condition. What is important is caused by a dominant allele. This is a key point. As I say that, it can be caused by a recessive allele. It can be caused by a dominant allele. It can be sex-linked sex or it can be a non-sexy linked, meaning that it is an autosomal auto, uh, 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 character. So please take note of that. So in this case, first of all, it is caused by a dominant allele. And they are saying that they are not specifying anything here. They are not saying anything here that it is caused by sex linked. However much I've talked about male or female, I should not use X and Y. So let's go. Ah, the first question is saying that how many generations are uh, represented in the diagram? When you talk about generations here, you only have to look at this is the first generation, this is the second generation, this is the third generation. So in other words, there are three generations which are indicated in DC. Uh, diagram. So the answer here should be uh, three. And then they're saying that um, give the letter, sometimes letters, uh, of an affected male. Now, sometimes we give you a key, which means uh, you have to take note of it and then know that whether it is uh, caused by uh, a dominant, sorry, is the uh, caused by a dominant allele, recessive allele, but we don't give you a key to show that this is a male, is affected, this is a female, is not affected. So we just give you the question. So uh, please take note of that. So in this case, they gave you a key. So the one who is shaded is affected with the disorder. The one who is not shaded is not affected. So it means that you have to take note of that. So in this case, we are saying that um, uh, we are saying that affected male, affected male, a box. We say that a box means a male, and then uh, a circle means uh, a female. So if they are saying that uh, an affected male. So here they're saying a box which is not shared is unaffected. So they are saying that, so I come here and I find out it's only one person who is unaffected. So the answer uh, is saying is supposed to be H. I think that's why it is also one mark. Then the, they are saying that genotype of individual A. Where is genotype of individual A? So because this is someone who is affected, Yes, and this is not, they have not said that this is a, a, a sex linked. And then, number two, they produced a kid who is a female, and this kid is uh, not affected. 
So what does it mean? It means that if this kid is not affected, it means that this person is a recessive, small r, small r. And then this one is not affected because this is caused by a dominant allele. So it can either be capital R, small r, or capital R, capital R, this individual A. So, but because this is small r, small r, yes, and then they produce a kid who is small r, small r, yes, it means that one allele, one allele came from the mother, obvious mother is like that, as we have seen it here, and one allele came from the father. Therefore, the father can't be this. So the father is like that, meaning that one allele came from the father, one allele came from the mother, and they gave rise to this kid. Hence, uh, A is of this genotype. So it is, A is heterozygous. I think uh, I'm clear there. Yes. Um, then the next question, they are saying that uh, genotype, uh, genotype of A, we are done with that. It is capital R, small r. Give the letter, all letters. Can you please start? I just logged. I just logged in. Yes, uh, we are going on. We are going on. Yes, uh -huh. so if, if, if you have just missed it out, yeah, don't forget that you have a lot of questions down there. So try to keep up and then you'll get uh, there. So we are saying that give the letters, the letters of what? Of, uh, of uh, um, let me check here. Someone is disturbing me. All right, uh -huh. give the letters of individual who is not biological uh, uh, kids for A and B. Where is A and B? A and B, A and B. So in this case, this line means they give rise to these two kids. This person, this person C, and this person F, it shows that they just have, they just got married. You see, they just got married. So F and C are not biological children for this. So it means that the answer here is going to be F, yes, this F, and C, because this, if this line was like this, then there would have been this, the, the, the kids of these parents. But because this line is not like that, it means that, what does it mean? It means that uh, they just got married. So this is not a biological child for these two. And also this is not a biological child for these two. So I think uh, I'm clear there. Then they are saying that, uh, they're saying that, sorry, uh, they're saying that, um,